everybody welcome back to my channel today I'm going to be installing some blue caliper covers that I got for my Tesla Model Y they look like this this is one for the rear um, these are aluminum caliber caliper covers that come from a company called ICBL it's a Chinese brand um, they're not sponsoring this video um, the reason why I got these is because for a long time I was trying to find caliper covers for my Tesla. I didn't want the red ones or like the yellow ones that I typically see on sale at a bunch of different websites. So I found these just recently and the reason that I got these is because these are blue that's a little closer to the color of the Tesla, of the blue Tesla Model Y, the metallic one that I have. And I like these because these aren't plastic and they are aluminum. I haven't installed them yet, but I'm about to. This is a rear one. You get a pack of four of them uh, for all, all of the, uh, the wheels for the front and the back. And this should be fairly simple. It might take a little bit of time because I have to jack up the car and, you know, go through the business of taking all of the tires off, putting these on the, the covers uh, over the existing calipers and then bolting them down. They include uh, all of the tools that you need to do this. And I will uh, edit that into my video probably at the front so you can see what that looks like. Um, I'm going to get started here in a second and I will film all of that footage and we will see how it goes. Wish me luck. The kit comes with these stickers that you peel off and place them on the calipers. It's a double sided piece of sticker. You peel it off and place it on there. I had a terrible time getting this thing to peel on the edges. So I just cut both ends and that made that a lot easier for me. And I'm going to go ahead and put the stickers on the, the caliper covers before I actually install them. I recommend you do that before you try to put them on there because you kind of don't want to spend more time down there in an awkward angle underneath uh, your car than you have to. And before I get started, there's one thing that I want to warn everybody about. If you have a, a Tesla, a Model Y like I do, that has the uh, the induction wheels. I think uh, these are the 20 inch wheels that come on. They have uh, wheel covers that look like this. This is the center cap piece that's on the inside. So when you try to remove these yourself to do something to the tire, you need a tool. I bought this off of the internet. It's just a little hook, it's not very fancy. You could probably make one for yourself or just find something you have lying around. But I have this. And when you go to take these center caps off, what you're supposed to do is put this inside of here, but don't turn it towards the logo. I made the mistake of turning it towards the inside of the logo, and it's a little hard to tell, but this is just a, uh, uh, it's not flimsy, but it's not a heavy duty piece of metal. I bent this trying to pull it off. What you're supposed to do is put this in there and turn it out away from the logo and then work it out and then when you do you can pull the whole thing off and it looks like this it was a mistake that i made because i've never had to take the tire off before uh i've only had the tool and never used it so just keep that in mind if you go to do that because it's easy to damage this i was able to bend it back in place for the most part and shouldn't be able to see it once i put it back on but keep that in mind let's go so what i have here is a jack that i had purchased um, online to use to jack up my car and at the time the only requirement I was really looking for was the uh, the load that the jack could handle this is a three ton jack and for um, all of you people that might not know the Tesla Model Y weighs a little over 4,000 pounds I believe there is no wet or dry weight because it's a battery so um, the weight value is more or less absolute so I got a jack with that in mind but the one thing that I didn't consider was this right here so this jack meets the load requirement but this right here is no bueno and I will tell you why so if you guys don't know when you jack up a Tesla you have to use what's called a puck the uh, Tesla does not provide these pucks to you you have to purchase them separately you I don't think you get them when you buy the car but there are points along the side of the frame on the Tesla uh, four points, two on the left, two on the right, where you insert this 
into the frame and you can jack it up because remember the bottom of the vehicle is a giant battery pack and that cannot be penetrated or damaged uh, at all. It will totally ruin the operation of the vehicle, I'm sure. So you get these jacks, you put them in there and you jack it up. My mistake was putting this in the hole and then applying pressure with this jack to lift it up and it shredded my puck. You can see that it's tore up pretty good. Uh, that is, that's not good. So I have three more pucks. I'm going to be more careful, but I'm not using this jack stand. I just ran to AutoZone and bought a two and a half ton Duralast uh, floor jack. And if you get something like this, you need to make sure that it's low enough to meet the requirement of your vehicle so it can go underneath. That's something else that you have to consider. It needs to be able to clear this space with this jack puck sitting inside there. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be able to clear it, but I'm about to put it on there now. And as you can see, it has this flat surface where I should be able to put the uh, puck on there and it won't shred it like I did the other one. So now I'm about to get started in earnest. So this is the before. These are just the regular um, factory calipers and I'm not removing them I'm just putting covers on them so also keep that in mind and these are the uh, the 20 inch induction wheels or whatever I'm gonna take these off jack up the car a little bit break the lugs and then follow the instructions to put the other ones on there and I'll film that and you guys will get to see what that looks like on my phone because my camera actually overheated in my garage keep in mind it's 106 degrees here in Texas I finished the first one on the left front and that looks pretty good I had a few issues minor issues with placing the caliper on there it's a uh, pretty finicky and the tolerances are slightly tight um, you will have to keep that in mind if you want to try to do the, uh, the same thing and get these types of calipers. There are little brackets right here. Two go on the inside of here, two go on the back. I'll uh, film this in a later segment as soon as my camera is cooled off enough and I'll show you what I'm talking about. But you have to get these just right in order to lock this down properly over your real brake caliper so there's no movement. It's super important that you get this on there properly so it doesn't loosen up and come off while you're driving. That could be a disaster. So that didn't go too bad. That was the right front one. I'm going to get started on the uh, right rear one and it should go a little quicker now since I've hit my stride. <laughs>
finished product let's see here not too shabby not bad at all I am pleased with the way that it's turned out so far um, they look really good um, compared to the color of my vehicle the installment wasn't super terrible I will uh maybe update this video post later and let you guys know if I have any issues. But I am overall pleased with how it worked out. Everything looks good. I've driven around for a couple of days already and I haven't noticed anything. They're still really solid, uh, attached to the calipers very well. And I'm, uh, I'm happy with it. If you liked this um, installation, if it helped you make a decision, uh, please consider giving me a like and a subscribe. I do appreciate it. If you're considering buying a Tesla, I will put my uh, referral code uh, linked into the description, and that way we can both get something out of the process. And if you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Thank you. See you in a bit.